When you think of a top-notch camera phone, your mind probably jumps to the usual suspects. There's of course Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra, Apple's latest iPhone 15 Pro series, and Google's reliable Pixel lineup. These are all solid choices, no doubt. But imagine for one second a certain Chinese brand that outshines all these heavyweights. This is the Vivo X100 Pro, and it is hands down the best smartphone for photography. It's unmistakably clear from the get-go that the X100 Pro is all about its cameras. That massive circular bump on the back and the Zeiss branding are dead giveaways that this phone is designed for snapping photos. Sure, you could say the same about its predecessors, but the X100 Pro adds something extra special, a 100mm periscope telephoto camera with a floating lens. This lets you focus on both close-up subjects and those far away, making it incredibly versatile. Besides the zoom, the X100 Pro also packs a main camera that's decked out with all the bells and whistles you'd want to see on a flagship. It's got an oversized 1-inch Sony IMX989 sensor, optical image stabilization, dual pixel phase detection autofocus, and laser autofocus. The wide f1.8 aperture allows for a shallower depth of field and this picture processing handled by a dedicated V3 imaging chip. Then you have the ultra-wide camera, which features autofocus and a 119-degree field of view. However, the best part is that all three cameras I've just mentioned, the periscope, the main, and the ultra-wide, all boast a generous 50-megapixel resolution. In well-lit conditions, the main camera captures crisp photos with excellent dynamic range and vibrant colors. But if you prefer more color accuracy, there's the option to switch on the Zeiss Natural Mode, which offers more neutral tones. Even when zoomed into 2x, the image quality stays consistent with no noticeable increase in noise compared to the 1x zoom. Night photography is exceptional too, and the main camera does a great job of brightening up the darker areas in photos. Interestingly enough, the phone has both an auto night mode and a dedicated night mode you can switch on manually. I found that turning off the dim light feature didn't make a huge difference in color and brightness, but photos taken with dim light on were a bit over sharpened and had more noticeable noise in them. I also took some samples with a dedicated night mode, and while it's better at reducing noise, it tends to add an annoying blue tint to every picture. Despite these quirks, this phone remains my top choice for capturing low light shots. The larger sensor size also means that it behaves a bit more like a DSLR camera, offering a shallower depth of field even without using the portrait mode. Speaking of portraits, I've got to say that the X100 Pro has quickly become my go-to camera phone for capturing them. Shots look very natural and lively with accurate skin tones. At times the background blur can be a bit aggressive, but you can adjust that easily enough. Plus, you have five focal lengths to choose from, 24mm, 35mm, 50mm, 85mm, and 100mm. The first four are courtesy of the main camera, while the 100mm is provided by the periscope telephoto lens. Now, I found the 85mm lens perfect for getting the best results, but I was also quite taken with the portraits at 100mm. You'll get the same high-quality representation of your subject as the main camera, but with some extra depth and warmer colors. It's amazing how much distance it covers while maintaining quality. And this brings me to the X100 Pro's zoom capabilities. It might not have the 10x optical range of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, but its 4.3x optical zoom is quite remarkable in its own right. The images are sharp, the colors are lovely, and the dynamic range is spot on. It also performs very well up to 10x digital zoom, capturing superb shots without significant loss in detail. The close-up shooting capabilities of this periscope camera are outstanding as well. It offers significant magnification, ensuring a high level of clarity and creates a distinct separation between the subject and the background. For even closer shots, the periscope lens doubles as a macro shooter with an 18cm focus distance, allowing you to capture fine details without being too close to the subject, and it supports up to 8.6x zoom. As for the ultra-wide camera, I'm mostly happy with what it delivers. 
Its 119 degree field of view isn't the widest I've seen on a smartphone and there's a bit of distortion near the edges, but overall the results are pretty good. Another exciting feature is the ability to shoot 4K cinematic portrait videos using both the main and periscope cameras, a first for a Vivo phone. This is made possible by the new V3 imaging chip, resulting in very crisp edge detection. The phone is capable of 8K video recording too, though it is limited to the main camera and tends to eat up a lot of storage space. Sticking to 4K at 60fps might be more practical, and the good news is it's available on all three cameras. You can effortlessly switch between the ultra-wide main and periscope lenses, even zooming up to 10x all while maintaining a smooth 60 frames per second in a single continuous video. This makes the X100 Pro an excellent choice for vloggers who might need this sort of versatility in their recordings. There's also an ultra-stabilization video mode which is very stable even when you're running. However, this mode is limited to 1080p and can only be used with the main camera. All right, now let's move on to the front camera. It sports a 32 megapixel sensor and does a fair job of capturing pictures in both outdoor and indoor settings. And the edge detection in portrait mode is quite decent as well. It's a bit of a letdown though that a phone of this caliber with such powerful hardware doesn't support 4K video recording on the front camera. Now the first thing you'll notice about the Vivo X100, which I've mentioned before, is its huge camera module, which takes up a significant portion of the back, making the phone a bit awkward to hold as the bump shifts your grip downwards. On the plus side, the camera module is now centrally positioned, unlike the off-center bump on the X90 Pro from last year. This lends a more symmetrical look to the design and reduces wobbling when the phone is placed on a flat surface. That said, I do find myself missing the vegan leather design of the X90 Pro, which offered a better grip. The X100 Pro opts for frosted glass, which, although smudge-proof, can be slippery. Thankfully, Vivo includes a rubber case in the box that provided sufficient protection and grip during my use. Overall, this phone looks very premium. The polished metal frame and the curved edges contribute to its upscale vibe. And even though it's on the heavier side, weighing in at 225 grams, it's got a sturdy feel to it. There's also IP68 dust and water resistance here, so it can handle a bit of rough weather or accidental splashes. Now, you might find this familiar. A 6.78 inch AMOLED display with curved edge glass, a 2800 by 1260 resolution, HDR10 plus certification, and a 120 hz adaptive refresh rate. This setup puts the X100 Pro on par with last year's X90 Pro, which already had a pretty fantastic screen. So it's great to see that the X100 Pro maintains this high quality display and even enhances it with LTPO technology for better battery efficiency. It's a fantastic screen for watching content too, and the well-tuned stereo speakers further elevate the viewing and listening experience. Vivo's also cranked up the brightness big time, claiming a peak of 3000 nits. If I'm being honest, I didn't find it blindingly bright in everyday use, but it's enough to keep things clear and visible when I'm out and about in the sun. Trying out the X100 Pro with MediaTek's latest Dimensity 9300 chipset has been quite enjoyable. Day-to-day -day usage is snappy, and it can handle graphic-intensive games at the highest settings without getting too hot. In terms of benchmarks, it's a bit behind the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, but honestly, in real-world situations, you'd hardly notice any difference. Plus, with 512 GB of UFS 4.0 storage and a solid 16 GB of LPDDR5X RAM, this phone is all set for speed and space. On the software side, the X100 Pro runs on Android 14 with Vivo's FunTouch OS on top. FunTouch OS remains largely unchanged from its previous versions, and while it's not the most streamlined Android skin around, it is quite feature-rich and functional. However, there is a bit of bloatware, and some apps can't even be disabled, which is a bit disappointing for a phone in this price range. Vivo has also promised that the X100 Pro will get three years of assured Android updates, which isn't too bad, but I'm hoping that they'll soon catch up with other brands like Google, who are currently offering up to five years of updates. One of the more significant upgrades for the X100 Pro is the boost in battery capacity to 5400 mAh, a jump from the X90 Pro's 4870 mAh. 
It's not every day you see a battery that beefy, especially compared to the usual 5000 milliamp hour ones out there. And honestly, I'm not complaining. This larger battery comfortably supports all day use, which in my testing included 4K video recording, binge watching TV shows, and even some gaming. The charging capabilities are just as impressive. Vivo packs 120 watt charger in the box, though the phone itself supports 100 watt charging via USB-C. This translates to a full battery charge in just half an hour, and a quick 15 minute charge can get you over 50% battery life. It also supports wireless charging at 50 watts, but to enjoy those high speeds, you'll need to use Vivo's proprietary wireless charger. The X100 Pro is a formidable flagship to say the least. It's fast, powerful, and long lasting. However, the real reason to choose this phone over more popular brands like Apple and Samsung is its brilliant camera system. It's like a photographer's playground that invites you to experiment, offering more than one way to capture the same photo. And sure, it comes with a hefty price tag, but that's the cost of owning what's arguably the best camera phone as we step into the new year.